we are coming to a close today, but not without summarizing the key points. The organizers have asked me to summarize today's sessions for you. So allow me. Today was really about two key takeaways, data and transformation. Today was about building the foundations. Tomorrow, we're going to put the walls, windows, and roof on the house. We heard it today. Data is the new oil, the new currency, and transformation. That's a journey. It's a journey of change. So if you allow me for the last two minutes, I'd like to share with you a small takeaway story about today. There was once, once upon a time, a small DVD rental business based in Santa Cruz, America. And with this DVD rental business, you could order DVDs, movies by mail. Do you remember those DVDs, those CD things? You stick them in the machine, watch a movie. And you could watch the DVD, watch the movie, and then you'd have to go to the post office and mail it back to this company. Now, there were two problems with this model. One, the DVD market back then was already in decline. And secondly, the dot-com bubble. So the dot-com bubble was a major disruption back in 2001. Back then, people were saying, the new normal, the next normal, we've been here before. History repeats. So what did the leaders of this DVD company do? Data transformation. They started collecting data. And this is what they found. One key takeaway from their data. They found the number one problem that customers had was going to the post office was annoying. That people got late fines for watching their movies. What should have been a good experience turned into a negative experience. What did they do with that data? Transformation. Transformation. Transform. Change shape. They said, let's build a digital version of this DVD mail order business. Let's start streaming these movies online. And that is exactly what they did. They used data to identify the pain points and transform their business. They accepted, like Minister Chan Chung Sing said in the morning, there is no returning to the old ways. And as Dr. Fung called it, the swinging times. There's no going back. We have to lean into the pain. Alan called it friction. We have to lean into that. And that is where, as we found out today, problems become opportunities. We have to re-engineer the business. So the question we need to be asking today, and we will answer tomorrow, is what is the future shape of business we want to become? And for this DVD company, what happened to them? They became a data-driven business. I'll come back to them in a minute. Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, who's been mentioned already today, said they have experienced three years of transformation in just the last three months as a result of the pandemic. And here we are today. We either choose to adapt or perish. And we've heard from the case studies today, UOB, PayPal, Lazada, Aviva, the list goes on. This isn't about adapting the right technology. This is about adopting the right mindsets. So that DVD company, you're probably wondering what happened to them. Why aren't we talking about them now? Well, that company was Netflix. They're the world's biggest entertainment company, valued at $210 billion today. Started out as a DVD mail order business, but pain became opportunity and data led transformation. And as we'll find, especially tomorrow, digital transformation isn't about digital, it's about people. So join us on this journey tomorrow as we learn which mindsets and best practices for those people can help us cross the threshold into the new normal.